Welcome to another video, how to burn a data disc in 2022, CD or DVD. I happen to have a DVD, which is a blank one. I have an LG external uh, DVD writer. What do we need in this case is, except for the blank DVD, the DVD writer is a software, which is called a burning disc. We used to use Nero back a few years ago. I think they're still around, but for this video, I'm just going to use Express Burn. Express Burn, you click Data DVD, you click Create, and uh, you put it on the side, since we're just going to use it for demonstrational purposes only. I am going to drop just something from one of the folders that I have complete just scrap. Ah, here's a picture. Uh, here's a video. Here is another picture. And so on and so off. And you can put software, you can put whatever you want. You click it away, burn that on DVD. In this uh, case, you can choose if you want to burn one copy or multiple copies. If you want to burn multiple copies of the same content, you click the number that you want to burn here and you just burn the first disc and it will temp uh, tell you to insert the second blank disc and so on and so off. And here, burner drive, you choose your burner drive, which in my case, I have that... Uh, LG burner drive, write speed, usually the disc will say if it's a 4X, 8X, or 16X. I have a 16X, but I'll put just max here since it doesn't show it. You can verify burnt content after burning, which is always, always suggested. And in this case, we're just going to name it test. And you click burn. And you'll wait for it to burn. Now that the CD has burned successfully, all you need to do is uh, take the CD, save it in a safe place. Don't forget to have your Sharpie ready to write what's on the CD. What is the purpose of still using the CD in uh, 2022? I would argue that uh, using the CD is a little bit safer for data since hard drives or SSD drives and USBs, if not used for a while, they will actually lose your data. And sometimes you might have cracked software, or which I don't condone that. And you might have uh, key generators for different software. Use it on the disk that Windows Defender or any antivirus will be unable to auto-delete those files for the new generation that don't even know what writing data on a disk is about. And I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time. Bye.